Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line we are celebrating Beyonce's birthday. Now you guys know I'm a huge Beyonce fan, I say it nearly every second video. Uh, so I wanted to, in keeping with the spirit of turning my cupcakes into cakes, turn my hashtag lemonade cupcakes into a hashtag Lemonade Cake, it's named after her latest album which is a couple years old now but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that once the twins are grown up there's a new album. Uh, so this cake is basically a lemon flavoured cake, lemonade, uh, I'm going to take you through how to make it from scratch, let's get stuck into the recipe. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with the gummy jewels, so to make those, add some water and gelatin to a large bowl. Mix that until it's really well combined. Next you're going to add some lemon juice and sugar to a large microwave safe jug. Pop that in the microwave for about 2-3 to three minutes. Get it nice and hot before you add your gelatin. Now you want to mix that until it's completely dissolved. Next I'm going to spray my little jelly molds. Now these are little gem molds that I found online. And I'm going to spray them with oil, give them a bit of a wipe with a paper towel and then we're going to fill them up with that jelly mixture that we prepared. Now you want to chill these for about two to three hours and once they've chilled they should come out really easily because we've greased them. Next we're going to move on to our cake. So add your flour, sugar, baking powder and salt into a large mixing bowl. Give that a good mix before you add your softened butter and mix that until it reaches crumbly sand like texture. Next you're going to add the zest of two lemons because we want to get this nice and lemony. If you don't have lemons, you can use lemon essence. We're going to add our milk, vanilla extract, Greek yogurt, which is going to help keep our cakes moist. We're going to get the lemon juice from those two lemons as well. And we're going to mix this until it's really well combined. Then you want to scrape down the bowl, add your oil because I actually forgot to add it before, and some yellow food dye. This is completely optional. And then we're going to mix that, scrape down again, and then mix for a final 20 seconds. Now I'm just lining an 8 inch cake tin, we're going to need to use 3 of these with some baking paper, and then we're going to fill this up evenly amongst 3 cake tins. Now the easiest way I actually found it to do this is using an ice cream scoop like I do for my cupcakes. Pop your cake in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes on 160 degrees Celsius and then let it cool down completely. I'm using a cake leveler to level these off into two slices. Now I've just added some lemon juice to some simple syrup which is even part sugar and water boiled and then cooled and we're going to drizzle some of this onto the cake. Now you don't want to drizzle too much because otherwise you can risk softening the cake too much. To prepare the buttercream frosting I've got some Swiss meringue buttercream frosting. You can find the recipe for that on my website. I'm going to add some yellow food gel and some lemon curd and mix that until it's really well combined. Now we're going to move on to crumb coating our cake. And this just essentially traps the crumbs in the first layer of frosting. So when you put the next layer on, there's no crumbs showing on the outside. So in between each layer, we're going to make a fence of buttercream frosting. And then we're going to add a thin layer of buttercream frosting to fill that up. Then we're going to add some blobs of lemon curd. And we're going to spread this evenly and flat with an offset spatula. You want to repeat this with all the layers getting to the top layer where you're going to add some more buttercream frosting and you're going to work around to make that look nice and neat. It doesn't have to look perfect. I'm using a cake leveler to help me do that. We're going to pop this in the fridge for about two hours to get it nice and chilled. Then we're going to add our final layer of frosting. Now I'm using a piping bag to help me do this. I'm using my cake scraper to get the layers nice and even starting on the outside of the cake and then I'm going to work the top. Now if there's any bubbles or uneven spots, just add some more frosting and go around it again with the cake scraper. So I'm going to get the outside nice and smooth and then I'm going to scrape away the top and get that nice and even. Now I'm using a number 5 Wilton round tip which is quite a small tip to decorate the outside. So we're aiming for a geometric effect. 
Now guys, this does take a while. It actually takes a long time to do. It looks awesome, so the payoff is great. But pop a podcast on in the background and take your time with this. So I like to start off by actually making the big shapes first and then filling them in. I found that's the easiest way to do this. Now you can see it doesn't look perfect, it looks a little bit rough, but that's okay. I think it adds to that a, a little bit of a rustic effect. We're going to finish this cake off with our Jolly Jewels and guys, that is pretty much it. Okay guys, so that was my hashtag lemonade cake. You're going to find the recipe on my website, thescranline.com. I've also left a list of the ingredients in the description box below, as well as a link to the recipe on the website. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and for all the lovely comments you leave every week. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.